The U.S. ambition to commercialize space is almost as old as the urge to explore it. But the historical links to today's commercial space race go back to this day in history, July 10, 1962. That's when the Boeing Thor Delta Booster rocket launched from Cape Canaveral, carrying AT&T's Telstar 1, the world's first privately financed satellite. It was big in size and in importance. The largest air inflated structure ever made, Telstar was constructed of polyester and rubber measuring 161 feet wide, 210 feet wide, 161 feet tall, with a 380 ton antenna embedded inside. Now, just hours after that launch, Telstar relayed the first ever live transatlantic television pictures. It was just a fuzzy shot of an American flag flapping in the wind out in Andover, Maine. But it was a major milestone that brought this expansive, disparate world much closer together. A breakthrough so remarkable, President John F. Kennedy predicted it would, quote, throw open to us the vision of an era of international communications. Telstar 1 relayed the first satellite phone call. It became the first to synchronize time between two continents and was the first to shuttle computer data by satellite between the U.S. and Europe. Telstar 1, though, didn't last long. It failed in December 1962, was restored, and then went dead again for good in February 1963. But the genie was out of the bottle by then. A second Telstar was soon launched, positioned further out in space, and at least 20 more would go up over the decades, with the last in July of 2018. And that brings us to our question of the day. Telstar made its mark not only on satellite communications, but also on pop culture, with its iconic geometric solar panels becoming the inspiration for the World Cup soccer ball and presumably for the Death Star space station in the Star Wars movie. Though we should note film director George Lucas has been very cagey about where he borrowed that idea. Nevertheless, that story has held. As for Telstar 1, no longer in operation, though it still orbits the Earth to this day. A marker of a giant leap forward in how human beings connect with each other around the world and a launching pad for what is now a multi-billion dollar commercial satellite industry.